And we're back for the Waku Waku course. Hello. Uh, I'm to you again. <laughs> I wish they did more of these games because I know the English voice actors are a bit off sometimes. But Especially it... the English cast. Yeah. <laughs> Are they now? Yeah, well, I've got both the English and Japanese ROMs because where I sent my GBA cart back, yep. and the Japanese cast is well better than yeah. the English cast. Yeah, I used the PC version to get to get a comparison between both of them, which um, isn't isn't unlisted on it. I'm like these figures until they go up with commentary yeah. on them. So, can... so I will say. I will say one thing, I do prefer Papoy English to Papoy Japanese. Papoy Japanese sounds like Meowth from the Pokemon cartoon. I, think I swear it's the same person voicing him. Well, it probably is. It probably is as it is. Yeah. Ah, uh, Rufina. I've, I've, I've always seen Rufina as, um, the, as the ruler of this the fever, the fever um, universe. Yeah. That's probably that's probably what they were meaning to do anyway. Yeah, well she loves going about how she's a proper lady and so refined, so she, she's obviously the higher class, shall we say. I do say a dear old chap. <laughs> uh, what happened, um, one, of, one of my friends was, was talking to um, what the people that call themselves the cool kids. And then um, yeah. and he was saying that they were the higher class. So um, what we another <laughs> point we're going was like it's like we just we just had a, had our um had our hands on a on a on a jacket saying, I do say my dear old chap, I do believe he's talking to someone that's of the higher class. <laughs> oh. Or as we Scots fit it, they're the toffs. <laughs> if I remember rightly that was Billy Conley's description, they're toffs. <laughs> Ah, the bullshit bones, they're quite clearly gay skeleton. Yes. There was a there was a playthrough I watched by someone and he his descriptions was he had Rufina the bitch, <laughs> Taru Taru the fat ass, <laughs> Klug got dubbed it was originally Klug the nerd, but he got dubbed the German nerd because in Rufina's had a had a course playthrough of the Game Boy Advance he goes from speaking English to speaking German, then back to English. The text is literally, it's German. <laughs> and the English subtitle selection. So I kept thinking, if we were to choose German for subtitles, would he sporadically switch to English and then switch back again? I think, I think that I was um, very, very disappointed with this. You know the, in, in, the English grunt from, um, from Pokemon Gold and Silver? Yeah. In the Japanese version, he does not—he does not go into English, in both in English like he is in the in the English yeah. versions, which, is, which I thought was unfair because I wanted to see him um, in, in, to, in either full English or broken English. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another thing the Japanese rock, like the Japanese game has over the Eng the European game. They actually kept the clue dialogue there. It doesn't change to German. It stays English, however, yeah. Sonic Team being Sonic Team, I don't think they have spell check staff, yeah. like staff, because the GBA version is atrocious for spell checks. There are mistakes everywhere, and it doesn't matter which region version you play. <laughs> oh, reader. Is it writer or reader? I can't remember how they pronounce it. Rider. Rider, I thought so. Right. That's, that's how I pronounced it first. Yeah, cause, yeah, because her Japanese name is Riddle, and apparently she was supposed to be called Riddle elsewhere, but they just yeah. changed it to Ryder. <laughs> yeah. So, she's one of my favorite characters. I like her. Oh, she's cool. Cute as well. Off. Yeah, awfully shy. She I, keeps herself. She's rather meek yeah. and polite. So. Like, I, I definitely prefer the for the Japanese versions of how they say of how they say it, but yeah. if you compare if you compare if you know a Japanese and you compare to what they say. Yeah. The English translations are quite accurate. Because uh -huh. um, 
him. I'll get, I'll get to him later. Um, but a clue. He's actually yeah. Listen to his, listen to his, um, his shining. And and if you and if you want to understand Japanese, all oh, right. Name mm. street so you got an all clear. Straight off the bat, you got an all clear. <laughs> I'm not. <dude>. Like, <laughs> she's just about out already. I don't think that big pile is going to help her very much. Don't you hate the hate it when, when, they, when they're trying to get out of favour and you've, you've, um, you've almost conned them to get the big pile and then just get that, yeah. that one chain and, the, and it completely negates it. Yeah. Don Giri Giru, acorn frog. <laughs> I, could, I could never say that before. I love this music. Uh, it's one of the few Japanese names in the series I can pronounce. Don Guri Geru. <laughs> and apparently that acorn frog is a literal translation. Yeah. I mean, like, it, it's weird that they translated Kohau Boy literally, but yet he's. Yeah. But yet he uses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I find it he funny... never got brought back. <laughs> I find, find it funny that Doi Guru, um, he uses. He uses um, no host strategy from the Madrid games. Um, yeah. yeah. Chuck the poils to one side, call it a day. If they match up, good, but if not, tough. And if, and if they do, you're screwed, basically. <laughs> yeah. I have had That's one thing. Yeah. What, remember you from the, the Ghost Girl? Yeah. She yeah. uses, I don't know if you ever noticed, <laughs> she uses Harpy's strategy. Yeah, I yeah, it was the first thing I noticed because I didn't recognise he was using Don Gurigeru's until I watched the other Poyos again. Yeah. But as soon as you showed up for the first time I played Hara Hara course, I was like, "You're not Harpy. Why are you using the strategy?" Oh, here he is. Luke. Yeah. So it's based. If you think about it, it's basically the match their predecessors. You know, these are like the juniors yeah. and all the ones from the original Compile games are the seniors. You know, these are like the juniors and all the ones from the original Compile games are the seniors. But they're not as good fighters as the seniors, yeah. from, especially with this display that Acorn Frog's given us. Yeah. <laughs> so, is, so is the Prince of Ocean the, the equivalent of um, Sakidora Tara? Without his I would say so, yes! I would actually say so. Now it's hiding place too. Obviously that'd be poor the show but this um, in the Japanese version. Yeah. Now um, I can finally talk about it, but um how accurate some of these translations is is um cool, for, for instance, his um, chaining is the the Eng the Japanese version is the exact same as the English. The English have literally translated it. Because um because mm. um it's uh Mamare, Himo Si, Himo Tayo Yeah. <laughs> and um, I know that Wani Ishikago means give me your power. Yeah. You know who it sort of reminds me of? Who? It kind of reminds me of shit, you know, not Jesus. really battle-wise. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying, not really battle-wise, more... <laughs> yeah, I don't even have to say it, I think we all know that one. Yeah. <laughs> His wording's a bit ambiguous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Does this one take... This match take place in a cave or something? I could never yeah. tell what this area was. It is a cave. According, according to the, the ES version, it's a cave. Because um, right. the DS version gives you a little map. Yeah. And, it's, and it's the only DS um, ROM that will work on the school computers. Oh my god. I tried Fever 2, wouldn't work. Tried Fever 1, yes. <laughs> Well, I got both working on my laptop, but I only played the DS version once, and that was only a sort of compare, you know, yeah. comparing the DS to the GBA. And DS is good. They gave them all the uh, dark one. Okay. Yeah. Which I like. Um, I don't know. I don't know if my if my version is is glitching out with that, but um, usually this um, code usually says just as planned when you get to the work. Um, or case yeah. that Moe san in, in the case of Japanese. Yeah. yeah. I think all day today I have been I have been quoting for your 
I've been I've been quoting Sig. I've been quoting I've been quoting um, Clue, and most of the time yeah. Amity and um, I will. Yeah. Cause he just had to get one. Those yeah. One little note about your little build up there. Mm -hmm. I learnt. Be careful when constantly building in the centre of the screen. It can get you killed. Yes, I know that. Right. Many times <laughs> that kills me, and I know don't mind. Yeah. That's the most dangerous method that we can chain. But if you notice, it's the most easiest one to set up with. <laughs> Oh, the Frankenstein's only two games in, you're out. Yeah. Well, after the call, you have toiled fast. <laughs> oh, you got laughed there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I have noticed um, that um, the Funkin' Kid's um, eye is not actually coloured. Because you can see, no. because you can see the color of them fucking dad's um, um, hands go through it. Yeah, it's just translucent picture thing. Yeah. It's transparent picture. Oh yeah, a description for these two is Frank and Kid is the annoying little brat. <laughs> Frank and <laughs> Frank and Dad is the Tourette's guy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, apparently he reminds people of Tourette's folks, you know, when he does all his yeah. rah, rah, this, that, and the other thing. Yeah. You know, people can just imagine he's coming out with some choice language. <laughs> so, and I'm not want to be offensive to anyone Tourette's, but I get why they say it. But I don't know, he's probably just trying to say stuff. And no one believes that that kid is translating what his dad's saying. He's just making it up as he goes along. I mean, it's like, it's like the... It's like the Banshee trio, you don't really know what they're saying. No. Like, um, I do like that bit about, um, I've waited up with these, with these posts here in 65 days, and they put me just yeah. funny. <laughs> I hated fighting against them in a Neo Geo Pocket Color game, like... I, 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 play, I have played that now. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I will bet it's quite a good port. It's a good port, it can be difficult at times though. Cause it, oh, is that used to like the fever thing, how it goes for all clears and everything, and yeah. it's, if your opponent can't match up something, the garbage will drop on them. Yeah. I didn't realise that Poil 2 rules is, if you make a match, any garbage above your opponent, especially an all clear, will drop. Yeah. It's the other way around, and I'm like, uh, and I've eventually worked that out. So you do this. <laughs> Why is it doing it? Why is it let me? Yeah. Ooh, you're gonna... I prefer... That was a nice chain. I prefer our, our little Japanese voice just saying that. Like, I don't think yeah. this voice actually fits it. No. And I will Ooh, say... Arlie Naja. Pardon? I was um, saying that... Um, I swear, I swear that they haven't translated part of her ones apart from the fire, ice, storm, die of you two and that. Because um, I don't yeah. think she'd say why yes or good one. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I played as early in one of the other versions just when I was trying it out, and a lot of her attacks, especially the Japanese cast, it sounds very similar to all her original stuff. Yeah. I like how she does that. I'm stuck here, so we may as well just play, you know, play a game to keep ourselves occupied. And like, Amity's like, whatever. I've heard this too many times to know where this is going. <laughs> yeah. yeah I like not... that with Boy of Seven and Ringo. You know, by the end of it, she's like, can we just not do this? By the end, of it, it's just she's she's got into the habit of saying, let's. <laughs> Probably good voice acting for the games. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't expect that to be a fortune. And it got you no clear. <laughs> I think I'm probably a bit ahead, but oh well. 
Properly. My, my laptop, sorry, my PC sometimes lags, but not always. I'm at 1424. 1507. <laughs> oh my god. I, I think I'm getting the lowest power. <laughs> you know, the what time are we at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long did it take you to guess, you know, sorry, I keep calling him Creepy Cat. How long did it take you to guess Papoy was Papoy before they revealed it? Um, well, not long. No. When, when as soon as I... it came on, as soon as it came on screen, I was like, oh look, it's that cat. Yeah, and he's never been shown as, a, as an actual fighter ever since. Which is a no. shame. Yeah, because he's pretty difficult. I wouldn't, you know, I've never gone up against Carbuncle, but from what I've seen, I wouldn't say it's difficult, but he is sort of challenging in himself. Yeah. Usually, 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 I can't, I will have some trouble, but not, not much. It's like I'm Satan, I can somehow, somehow, but I don't know how I do it, I can get, um, I can usually get him in one try. Yeah. Carbuncle, no way. Oh. The last few tries I had, I managed to beat Poi, there was like, I was trying out the PC version, and yeah. I didn't know what button on my controller was, the pause button. So basically, I couldn't do a sort of save quit thing or whatever, so if I died, I couldn't restart from whatever match I was up to. So I had only one shot to beat him, and yeah. for the first time ever, I bet him in one turn. <laughs> uh, well, everybody, everybody has the first. Yeah. And then after that, I've just been beating him one turn, one turn, one turn. I think after after my recording of um, the original Poyo Poyo for the channel, I have not yeah. I've, I've not been able I've not been able to fail on Satan. That was that was an interesting place that I watched that a few days ago. That was wonderful. Ooh, your stack's getting a bit high. <laughs> that gets annoying. It gets, it gets annoying until until you until you, until you and remember to just block out your memory. Yeah. And then then uh, people need to make memes of these these you know what they say in these games. Yeah, people like occasionally quote things from the original series. There's plenty in this series they can quote, yeah. especially the English version. <laughs> yeah. I love this track, by the way. <laughs> and this is probably the most most listened to out of the Fever and Fever 2 soundtrack um, that they released. I, I like this track, but I'll admit I'm a stickler for state, Satan's Poyo 2 tune. That's my favourite. Yeah. Uh, I love I love Satan's um, Fever. Um, sorry, Satan's first um, theme that you got. Yeah. Can't get enough of that. And you got the flying cave! Yatta! I love that, um, the, the um, Dr. Botnik's Green Bean Machine um, on, on um, the Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection, the, the, yeah. the achievement that you get for it is Yatta! <laughs> which, means I, <laughs> which means I did it in Japanese! Yeah, I know. I. I always like, if the games have Japanese voice audio thing, I always have the Japanese one on, yeah. so okay. I get used to it. Ah, uh, you did not have a hand in this. So that's why it's so good in the Japanese version, hmm. Like a certain yeah. other series that, is, that has Japanese and English voice actors. Yeah. Oh my god, if you want some atrocious thingies, comparisons, Sonic Adventure DX. Sonic Colors is just, they do have most of it accurate for the actual translation, yeah. but at places it's just laughable. <laughs> but Sonic Adventure DX is like right at the start where Sonic's doing the chilling out on the, at the hotel. Yeah. And that, and he's like, nah, Tails and all that sort of stuff when he, and then when, I can't remember what is he comes out when the English version when Tails crashed. Look at Tails, you're gonna crash. That, Ah! Yeah, yeah, and then he's like, was it what I'm going to do with you or something? And the Japanese version, he turns and goes, what am I going to do with that idiot? <laughs> and and then you got the bit where 
was it Big the Cat, if you talk to them while they're standing on the little island between the train station and that, it's big. Yeah. Sonic comes out with, Eggman! And, but in the Japanese version he goes, that bastard, Eggman! <laughs> obviously, obviously they're, they're obviously trying, trying to make, make it more suitable for kids because it is obviously... Yes! Kids. Yeah. Yeah, saying that, yeah. saying that Incubus wasn't very child friendly, was he? <laughs> Oh, oh no, but he kept saying shit. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. And it was it Poyo's son when he's like when Arlie turns around and says <laughs> that his makeup singing, he's like shit. <laughs> uh, that's probably the easiest thing to translate out of all out of all the Japanese um, text in that game. Yeah, if you notice the yeah, if you notice the easiest things to translate from different languages is swearing. <laughs> Yeah, you just hear someone say something, you can tell straight off what they're saying. Yeah. European manager, fire him. <laughs> <laughs> and after this game, we never got any more. Any more in the English territories, which is unfair. I know, it's a shame, because I was looking forward to playing Poyo 2 and everything. Yeah. Because originally I only knew about this one, and I found that there was a second one, I was like, yay! And then I noticed, no, everything else is just kept to Japan. And it's like... That sucks. Yeah. 